No, go, go. Aloha, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Photo Luke Hawaii for your weekly Hawaii update. It is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. We still have a 14 day mandatory quarantine uh, in effect for anyone returning to Hawaii or any visitors coming to Hawaii. And that includes people moving to Hawaii. Uh, this means as soon as you get to the airport, you're going to go straight to your hotel room or your place of residence. You're not allowed to go shopping before. Um, the only way you can get food is to go through some kind of a food delivery service or room service uh, or grocery delivery service and uh, you cannot leave your hotel room for 14 days or your place of residence uh, which would be your apartment or uh, your house property you're not allowed to leave there for 14 days um, people are getting arrested for this it's a five thousand dollar fine that just does not seem like worth taking a chance to me with new safety and health guidelines, uh, a lot of the malls have reopened. You can see in our most recent Ala Moana uh, Center video that a lot of stores are still not open. And the food courts that are open may only have a few places available for takeout. Uh, but it's, I guess this is the slow process of reopening. Uh, right now, I guess the businesses that are going to be open is the ones that can uh, survive off of local businesses. They're talking about opening uh, restaurants for dining in services, of course with uh, modifications to seating arrangements. Um, this is, they're talking about maybe opening this up in early June. And like we talked about last week, uh, with all these parents going back to work, we do have child care services available especially because there's no school now this kind of thing is very helpful so you have services like Kamaina Kids uh, you can go to www.kamainakids.com for more information I'll have that link down below but they have modified the way that they interact with children and, um, and the procedures that children have to go through when going through the program and I believe they also teach them to have a mask on and maintain social distancing and so um, yeah there's so many different adjustments but yeah there's um, services like Kamaina Kids and there's other services also um, which are out there if you search around I guess but um, I do know of Kamaina Kids one so I'll have that link down below so talking about uh, you know going back to work and the malls being open so um, also the stay-at-home order for all non-essential workers it's now more of a stay safe work at home type of uh, situation or order so you know if you're able to work at home to work at home of course a lot of these businesses it's not worth it for them to be open because maybe they're in the tourism industry or they rely on tourists for their um, business uh, those businesses are not going to be worth opening right now we're still supposed to be practicing social distancing even though things are opening up and you know being safe and uh, wearing your mask and graduations are going on right now for the next couple weeks it's going to be going on congratulations graduates i know this is not the way that you wanted to graduate but you know um uh, we're so happy for all of you folks to be graduating parks are still closed for sitting laying down um, using the exercise equipment and playgrounds. You can't use any of those or do any of those things. Um, you still need to be exercising if you're going to the park and that means um, walking, jogging, running, bicycling. And uh, I'm not sure when the parks uh, will actually reopen um, for normal activities. The beaches have been reopened for a week now. I'm not sure if all the islands are, but most of the islands most of the beaches have opened and this means that you can sit and lay down on the beach again just with the restrictions of maintaining social distancing with other people with family members of course you know you might be together but I think they're also restricting the amount of people that can be in a group like I don't think it can be more than 10 people sad to report Hawaiian and blues music artist Uncle Willie K passed away this past Monday night uh, our heart goes out to his family. Uh, 
he did so much for all of us through his music and his personality. We're gonna miss seeing him perform live. We really appreciated you, Uncle Willie K. Thank you, we're gonna miss you. I added some more of his music to the Hawaiian music playlist that we have, uh, that we put together. And I'll have that link down below. And also just a reminder, if you, you know, want to use that playlist and you're like, you don't want to hear the same music over and over again in the same order, you can, there's a shuffle function on that playlist. So, you, you know, it'll shuffle the songs for you and play it in a different order. But yeah, um, go check out Willie K's music. Uh, we're gonna really miss him. And uh, I'll have that link down below. I'm not sure if there's a Melly in the Holly this Saturday because I didn't see any posts about it. When I think there was some event going on, uh, so maybe they may not have it. They might be doing that other event this weekend. Please support lonomusic.com. Uh, I'll have the link down below. Lono is an awesome Hawaiian music artist from Molokai. He is allowing us to use some of his Hawaiian music on our videos. Uh, thank you, Lono. We really appreciate you. If you can go check out his uh, website at lonomusic.com and uh, check out his stuff and maybe buy some of his music, you'd really appreciate it. If you like to see what our family does on our trips, we have our Fotolu Kauai Travels and Bond Dance channel. Um, this is also where we're going to be posting our new travel videos and uh, Bond Dance videos also in the future. Uh, for 2020 Bond Dance season, it looks like most of the Bond Dances are going to be canceled. So I'm going to be doing a virtual Bond Dance season 2020. If you can go to Folu Kauai Travels and Bond Dance channel, and I'll have that link down below, and if you can support us there too, awesome. Uh, thank you so much for all you Patreons for supporting us. You folks have been um, such great supporters and such... Uh, I, I, I don't have the words to say how thankful I am to you Patreon supporters. Thank you for joining the Folu Kauai Patreon team. You folks are awesome. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe. And click that bell so you can get notifications every time we post a new video. Thank you so much everybody for watching. Malama Pono, which means take care. Ahui Ho, which means until next time. Aloha everybody.